All right, here I am at Turffield Stadium. Let's kick these weirdos' butts. Ah, hello there, Milo and Piers. Hmm, you're... Hello there, champion. So, you came. It's been a while. <sighs> How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an ex exhibition match with Piers. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. I got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Hop. I expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew we, knew we can count on you. I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, Andrew. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turffield Stadium. Then I heard that uproar and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. So, uh, sorry. I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. Those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. I'll be glad for your help against such a tough looking opponent, Champion. Of course. Then let's head out to the pitch. I'll lend a hand too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course. But I'm still just a bit miffed they upstaged me. You come too, bro the old champ. I don't know how much I can really help. If I come along, I might end up slowing the rest of you down. I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon be all lost about this. Though he does get actually lost a lot. You come? Uh, okay! Pierre's might look scary, but he's great at looking at it for others. He's a big brother, after all. We should get going, so. Yeah, let's get in there and teach this Dynamax Pokemon what for! Right. Who's it gonna be? Who's the Dynamax problem? Oh. Big-legged lady. Milo's got a flapple! Don't worry, boys. I know exactly how to solve this problem. I'm surprised you use Max Starfall on Flapple. I, I was thinking you would use it on Obstagoon, but I guess it's super effective on Flapple too. Well, it's a good thing these things don't put up shields. Oh! Oh, hop! There you go, buddy! There you go! You took out a Dynamax Pokemon! Atta boy! Here's a revive. It looked fine to me. Why'd you use a revive? I didn't see the faded, like, twirly eyes. Phew. Looks like things finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff. No matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. I can see your dislike of Dynamaxing still hasn't changed, Pierre's. But there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere. And the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally, a Pokemon needs to respond to Dynamax Band in order to Dynamax, but... Seems there was some discord in the harmony between the trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual? I, I did. So you noticed something was off too? There's no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped in an agenda. Well, to be fair, I, I, I come across these things all the time in dens. They don't need no trainers. I'll make sure Turffield Gym takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out here. Thanks for that. Oh, and Andrew, if you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. Hey, I got this rare league card. Alright then, follow me, little Serena. Is it Tis Serena or is the T silent? Oh, I don't know. Well, well, well. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, 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 the champion has expected. Is that gonna be your guys' thing where you say well, well, well in the start of every single sentence? Ah, it's you two! I knew you'd be here! Give the rusted shield back! Sorry for the rusted camera. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Grr, get over here so I can battle you! Who are you guys? Spectators and the staff shouldn't be evacuated. Or should have been. The normal rules simply just don't apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? Who is this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with strange tastes and hairstyle.
Who is this coming from? This is coming from the guy who has a hairstyle that looks- You're not even gonna get into it. His entire style is complete black and white nonsense, isn't it, older brother? And your hairstyle is a sword and shield. What's your point? If anything, I actually like his hairstyle with it being black and white. It actually has a good taste of style. You think I'd put any fate in words for rude little punks like you? But it seems our experiment was a success, brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokémon. Ah, uh, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zakian and Zamazenta. Eh? Huh? What was that about them? You, despicable champion, we're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokémon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid-looking bottoms. More likely, celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell! So you were the ones who caused all this. Stop! Calm down, Hop. You don't gotta act so hard. But, but they're getting away! Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. But still! Fine, you're right, I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. Thanks for them running their mouths. We know their goal is to force Pokemon to die them backs. And that they plan to continue doing it. I won't allow it. Yeah. This is no time to be hung up on getting back a shield. Andrew. Yes, we've got to stop those two. Mm-hmm. Now. Where's the next stop? Oh, I suppose I have to go outside first. Alright, there we go, we got a cutscene. Ah, there you are, Andrew. Things are a right proper mess. Just when I thought the Galler Particle count around Turfield has calmed down, started getting huge Galler Particle readings from Holberry Stadium and Motorstoke Stadium. So what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? Uh, what's a good thing? Well, I think a better option is to explain pretty much everything. A Dynamax Pokemon went on a rampage? Those Sword and Shield weirdos did it? Oh, Sonya! Hmm? Huh? And... Pierce? Pierce, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in Spike Month? I am an ex mayor I could be whatever I want. It's not that weird. More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon in other stadiums? Yes, I'm getting the insane readings in other towns that I was from Turfield. I'm worried about Marnie. Ah, but Spike Month Gym should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Holbury and Motorstoke. I see. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild, there's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say? Let's head on to one of the stadiums. That's the spirit, champ. Leave those Sword and Shield weirdos to me. I could poke around the net for sightings of them. We'll leave the research into this, uh, Sonya, was it? We should get to the other stadiums and help out. Yeah, um, weren't we just talking about us not do dealing with the weirdos and just dealing with the stadiums at all? Looks like our next stop is this Holberry's gym and I switch Pokemon. Ah, Nessa! Don't get too close, you lot. Things are pretty dangerous here. We know the situation. Are the staff inspectors alright? Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at you three, the more I see how odd a little group you are. T leave us alone. We came here to help you out! And I'm grateful for it. That Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it'd give me trouble. I'd feel a lot more confident about it if all you, you joined the party. Let's do it. Let's go! Alright, who's causing all this ruckus? A Thanks for the help, guys, but I got this. Yeah, that one didn't really last long. Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt, and we were able to turn the tide of the situation. I'll keep that Pokemon at Holberry Stadium until I can fully recover. If you ever need my help, just let me know. Hey, thanks. I suppose I'll see you later, then. Thank you so much for your help. Truly. Well, that's that one. On to Mother Stokes! Stadium. Make way, for the champion is here to save the day! Hello, Kabu! Ah, Champion Andrew, and Piers and Hop, too! Mr. Kabu, I'm glad you remember me! Of course I do! You two were red hot after all! I'll never forget seeing you off after you'd completed your first leg of the gym challenge! 
Don't think we really got the time for a friendly chin wag. Right. Actually, the situation's getting pretty bad over at the stadium. Yeah, that'd be why we're here. Brilliant! The opponent's a bit much to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. Well, with you all on my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter than a minute. Let us begin! Alright, who's causing the ruckus this time? Oh, a Torkoal. Huh. Look at Kabu's position right there. Why is he just squatting? Why? Max Skeezer with your finger gun! Boom! Okay, that was just like nearly half health, but still, th thanks to the drought. Huh, didn't realize that when you lose a Pokemon, you don't switch out to another one. Because, uh, Hop's Tinderance just got game ended and. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I just died. Looks like we were able to extinguish things this time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here at Monostoke Stadium until it gets its energy back. And Andrew, should you have need of my help, please do not hesitate to ask. Hey, another one. Don't worry, I know. You all have more work that needs to be done, yes? Go forward, youths. I wish you well. Alright, where? Why is my backpack beeping? Hey, Andrew, that your road on phone ringing? Andrew, we're in got trouble. There's two weirdos that showed up at the Pokemon lab. What? Sonya, you all right? They keep rudely demanding a hand over wishing stars. I'm all right for now, but get over here quick, quick, hey, these guys are great creepy. Beep. What are those two doing going after wishing stars? We've got to help Sonya get back to Rusted Shield. Let's hurry to the Pokemon lab, I thought that was pure sake! He really doesn't think Ethan thrill. Sure does make him feel... You know, blast seem a proper fool. Uh, guess the word would be reckless. We're heading to Pokemon lab next, right? Guess I'll stick by you till we see this through. Alright, alright. I'm gonna switch to the big guns here, and I'm gonna fly over to the lab. Also, my camera's shaky. Gosh dang it, I hate it when it happens. Beep, beep, beep. I am here to save your day, Sonya. And by day, I mean most likely life. We know all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose have gathered are here. We celebrities have an enhanced level of insight into such things. You non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over to us. Wishing stars are uh, being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. I don't know how you knew about this, but there's no way we're giving them to you. Look at the- Why do you have your legs crossed and your arms on your knees when you're sitting? In fact, hold on. If you don't even bother reading the text and just look at the facial expressions, these two just look like they're just chilling out, just minding their own business. And then Sony over here is just having a nice little conversation, being all happy about it for some weird reason. And the same thing for Magnolia, like, why are you two having such a nice, easy time just like, having, being smiley about this? You're being robbed! That's right, you can never understand how important these mission stars are. You have no need for them, and yet you two are smiling about it! Goodness, whatever should we do, younger brother? It would certainly seem we have been inconvenienced, bro. Wahahaha! <laughs> Sonia and the professor are the ones who have been inconvenienced here. Hop! Forcing Pokemon to Dynamax against their will, you've gone way out of bounds here. And I haven't forgotten about getting back the shield. I certainly thought the champion would come, but I didn't think a loser would follow. Must I have you once again taste the flavor of a humiliating defeat? Mm. Don't let those goons put you down. That's right. You lost the battle, but don't lose that rocket spirit. R right. We'll fight them together. Thanks, mate. First things first, let's get these weirdos out of here. Weirdos! Oh, how they wound me, older brother, to be called so terrible a thing as weirdos by these ruffians. Indeed, to address royals such as ourselves in such a manner cannot, will not, be forgiven. 
This time, I've brought a stronger Pokemon to thoroughly trounce you with. Oh! Tougher Pokemon, you say? Brongdong and a Galissapod. I mean, that kind of sucks for me, but... Well, thank you for hitting the Galissapod and not the Bronzong, but... I got this! I'm taking damage, but it's worth it in the end. This man still doesn't have an AG Slash! Even Leon Kennedy had one! I'm gonna just take out the Bronzong before he gets even more trouble. What? I feel like he's gonna attack the Bronzong, so I'm just gonna switch out to someone like Randall, just to be safe. Now that I think about it, I probably should have switched out to uh, Colossus. But uh, who cares? Here's the plan. I snipe shot the Dewblade, hopefully taking it out. Okay, good. And all ha Hop has to do is use Pyro Ball on Kling Clang. There we go. Bam, you're done. I'm still surprised you're still just a singular, like, steel type and not steel electric, but yeah, who cares? What sucks now is that I have to use Snipe Shot and kill the Wiggler Pokemon. I, I feel just bad now. Oh, they're all dizzy now! Yeet! Bam! You're done, all of yous! And just like that, Hop, with the power of teamwork, we defeated these stupid idiot weirdos. Quite the vexing predicament indeed, older brother. This man has it too! Surely, this must be some kind of mistake, wouldn't you say? Why are you two doing the JoJo phase? You are, phase, you are not do- You are not JoJo characters! I am really messing up my words. I don't care, I'm mad. I did it! We won! We really won! The exquisite Pokemon we trained actually lost? This man is so shocked. Look at the back one of the shield bird. His, uh, his pupils are just gone. <sighs> you only won because you two teamed up. Still, we offer you ruffians on our face. Oi, the two of you teamed up too. Give back the shield and stop forcing Pokemon to go all crazy. Ah, sorry. Is this a bad time? You're only now showing up. By the way, um, I skipped it, but she said my... Dang it! Don't worry, I have a recording, so I can watch what she said. My apologies for the intrusion. Those men are dangerous. Be careful. Dot 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 dot. No. No. Well done. Your infiltration mission was a. I knew it. I knew she was suspicious. That they never gave her a name. Have you gathered the stars? Yes. Thanks to Masters Swordward and Shieldbird buying me so much time. This no-named woman does not deserve a jingle game! Learn how to give the right characters jingles. What? Stop! Give back those wishing stars! Oh dear, it would seem we've been completely had. <laughs> Why? This one is so sweet. I don't think I'll need any sugar in my tea later. Our battle with you was such a little trick. We'd won before you grabbed a single Pokeball. And with that, farewell! Stop! Why? Because I'm a no-named woman. And because of that, I'm a bad person, apparently. Professor Sonia, I'm sorry. Girl, no you ain't! Was everything... Was it all a lie? Right from the start? There was no helping it. It was necessary for the plan. I plan to put Galar under control of the royal lineage once again. I think it's line lineage, but... Oh no! Sonya, no! Sonya! Yes, game. I'm clearly talking to the plants here. Let me talk to baby girl here! There we go. Dang it, Kane, you made her miss sad! I think she's gonna need some cheering from her real friends. I'm trying, Pierce! The game won't let me- Come on, game! Let me cheer her up! She needs it! So those two weren't working alone. One of her followers even betrayed Sonia. That's real rough. It, it so is, man! It so is! I, I can't believe the game won't let me cheer her up. Wait! Don't just leave without saying anything! I tried saying something! The game wouldn't let me! But- you were upset. We didn't want to say anything to make it worse. We were trying to be considerate, but- Boy! You were the one that told me to talk to her! What do you mean? 
Of course I'd be down on myself. It was my fault I got tricked by a nicket in Wooloo's clothing. But that's it. No more feeling sorry for myself. That lot made off like bandits with all the wishing stars. I'd be awful if they were used for some evil purpose, so there's no time to be feeling down. Oh! <laughs> you got some guts. You've certainly grown strong in the face of adverse adversity, dearie. Graham! Dynamaxing draws out the true strength from the trust between a Pokemon and their trainer. But that group is likely pouring the Galar particles emitted by the Wishing Stars into Pokemon, forcing them to Dynamax. That's awful! Indeed. What an awful thing to do to Pokemon. The theft of the Wishing Stars was just the start. Things could get a lot worse from here on. But why? What reason could they have to forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? Those weirdos said they were wanting to reveal the true natures of Zakian and Zamazenta. I'm curious about what my former assistant said about a royal lineage. Does she really mean it literally? Ah, Andrew, look at your town map! I'm detecting huge reactions at four stadiums! Gee, I wonder where. They certainly get around, don't they? If there's trouble at the stadiums, the Marty could be in a real bad way. Ah, Spike must seem to be okay. There's no power spot to stadium there. Ahem, <laughs> right though. Andrew, this is no time to be lying about. If Pokemon are in trouble, why are we still here? Let's get right out there to lend a hand! I'm sorry to leave it all to you, but you'll have to take care of the Dynamax Pokemon. I'll search for those Sword and Shield weirdos in the meantime. Well, it's a good thing that the, you know, baby girl Sonya is okay now. I would go to the stadiums and take care of those Pokemon in this episode, but two things. One, this video is already like 21 minutes and it's soon gonna be 22. And two, I, I'm still a little upset about what's going on with this, with the plot and the fact that the game won't let me take good care of Sonya. I need to rant about something. And I know that this is gonna be stupid and it's gonna drag the video out and it's completely not really point part of the plot, but who cares? My little rant has something to do with fossils. For as you see, fossils work completely different in these games than they did in the past. There are four fossils in the game and they're not like any old fossils. These fossils are only parts of a Pokemon. The fossils I'm referring to are fossilized bird, fossilized dino, fossilized drake, and fossilized fish. And you can get all four of them in each game, but b d these two games can have common and rare ones. For Sword's case, the common ones are fossilized bird and dino, and the rare ones are, well, drake and fish. And it's the exact di opposite way for, well, shield, where it's fish and drake that are uh, common, and bird and dino that are, uh, are rare. And when you have your fossils, go to Route 6 and talk to this lady, and then you gotta <clears throat> get like these fossils and then ha give them to them in a specific way, so that way, with the two fossil pieces, you can make one the Pokemon. And there are four fossil Pokemon, which means there are four ways, like, you know, parts of the thing. So let's say I wanted to do fossilized bird and then fossilized dino, I would get a Pokemon. Specifically, Arctozolt. And then if I did bird and drake, I would get Drekozolt. And how do you get these fossils exactly? Well, I'm pretty sure you can find them in the, in the overworld, specifically the wild area. But speaking of the wild area, the best and most consistent way of getting is with the digging duo that you find in this particular area of the wild area. And what these two do is, if you give the, one of the two 500 watts, they will dig items in, most likely in this particular spot, and they will give you the items that they find. But these two are completely different from one another. So for this one, he will give you some somewhat common items, but at the exchange, he'll give you a whole lot of them. And with this guy over here, he gives you the rare items at the expense of not getting as much as the other bro. Now, the, this guy on the left gives you all four at a good, like, it's rare, but you can't, you can't get all four fossils. But this guy, he gives you the common ones that I just mentioned. And let me tell you something. This guy will drain your watts. I know this because I gave this guy approximately 70,000 watts just to get two fish Fossils. I also got six drakes, but that's besides the point. And how do I know this? Look at this! Two fossilized fish, seven fossilized drake, my mistake. And then, 
44 fossilized dinos and 39 fossilized birds. And if that wasn't enough, I have 35 comet shards, 17 bottle caps, 161 rare bones, 32 wishing pieces, 10 water stones. I actually forget the water stones. I don't think you can get those from the digging area, but uh 27 sunstone, 16 sticky barb, 35 shiny stone, 14 normal gems, 29 moonstones, 30 metal coats. 19 light clay, 29 lagging tails, 32 iron balls, 29 ice stones, 27 dust stones, and 32 dawn stones. So yeah, you can get rich by just giving these guys watts and then selling the items you don't want. I didn't do that yet until I showed you guys the, uh, the inventory. I'm just a little upset at the fact that how rare you can get the drake and, and fish. Specifically for me, fish. Whew, sorry. I, I just really wanted to get that out of my chest before, well, I forgot about it and just before I sold my items. That's all. Plus, I was just kind of heated at the moment of the plot and everything else. And the fact that the game won't let me calm Sonya down to cheer her up, I just had to get something angry on my chest. Anywho, next episode, we're gonna take care of the rest of the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadiums and save the world, kick the weirdos' butts, and yada yada yada. Now, if you excuse me, I have some items to sell and make myself super rich.